Hello, welcome to this month's edition of Viola's Flight Report, where we review what Helicopter Association International is doing for you. I'm James Viola, the President and CEO of HAI. We are filming today from the NBAA convention and exhibit in Las Vegas. We are here talking to current and prospective vertical aviation professionals, listening to their concerns, and sharing with them all the ways that HAI helps support them and their industry. I want to talk today about the people who fill an essential role in our industry, the thousands of professionals who truly keep our rotors turning, the aviation maintenance technicians, or AMTs. Their work is critical to maintaining safety, operational readiness, and high performance. Without these hardworking professionals, the vertical aviation industry would never get off the ground. Later on in this video, Zach Noble, HI's Director of Flight Operations and Maintenance, will be speaking with Chris Holder from Concord Battery to discuss inspection authorization and the importance of continuing education for maintenance professionals. We have a major shortage of qualified service technicians in the vertical aviation sector. Baby boomer era aircraft mechanics are retiring and schools are not able to produce enough qualified technicians to keep up with the growth in aviation. The days of aircraft mechanics and greasy coveralls are over. Today's technicians are utilizing tools such as virtual and augmented reality training, predictive maintenance practices, in-flight connectivity, and advanced materials such as 3D printing of parts. Companies are investing in innovation that will change the landscape for vertical aviation as we know it. A lot of people are excited about the electrification of aircraft, but there is also a big push to bring hybrid technology to large aircraft such as cargo and passenger air carriers. These new aircraft will change how goods, people, and services are moved and applied in our society. And we will need professionals that can maintain and repair these new aircraft. HAI realizes the impact that the shortage of qualified AMTs has on our industry. It is a topic that comes up a lot when I am speaking to members. Knowing how important it is to you, HAI has created programs and strategies to recruit the vertical aviation workforce of the future. In 2022, HAI started the Workforce Development Working Group. These HAI members volunteer their time to help the industry address the shortage of qualified pilots, maintenance technicians, and mission crews. HAI also initiated the Rotor Pathway Program in two states, Utah and North Dakota. This program brings aviation education to high school students, thus putting them on a pathway to obtaining their pilot or their AMP certificate from a college or university. Operators then offer program participants mentoring, apprenticeships, and job opportunities. The field of aircraft maintenance is expected to grow over 12% each year for the next decade. So we need to think about new ways to reach and recruit the next generation of AMTs. Now let me throw it over to Zach Noble and Chris Holder, who will discuss IA renewal and aviation maintenance education opportunities. Thanks, Jim. I'm here with Chris Holder from Concord Batteries. We're going to talk about the IA seminar that HAI has partnered with Concord Batteries on. Um, Chris, tell us a little bit about the IA renewal program that you've established. So prior to COVID, Concord hosted four brick and mortar IA events, primarily in Florida, the Southeast, up through Tennessee. And when COVID hit, we had to figure out a way to continue to provide that training because IA still have to renew every year, whether there's a pandemic or not. And so we decided to pivot to a virtual environment to cover those roughly 700 IAs that attended. What we didn't realize is that we were really the only ones that thought of that. And so we began to get requests from other seminars that were shut down to see if they could attend our event. End of story, we had about 700 or 1,250 IAs attend that first event and you fast forward to this past January and we had over 2,500 IAs attend across the three seminars. What we did in 22 is we decided to have three individual seminars, one that focused on piston discipline, one that focused on turbine, and one that focused on rotorcraft. I know you're offering three separate IA seminars, one for piston, one for turbine, and one for rotorcraft. Correct. What can an attendee expect? from each of those or particularly in our case for the rotorcraft version? Well, what we always strive for is to find folks in our industry who are great teachers and great instructors. 
Uh, and we've been pretty successful with that based on the feedback that we get from the attendees once the events are over. But that really is the, the principal foundational goal is to find interesting people who have really good things to talk about and are very interesting to listen to because an eight hour seminar is a long day and if it's dry, it gets very difficult. So we feel like we've been pretty successful with that and finding the best teachers in our industry. Can you tell us about the companies that participated in the training? Any particular companies that, that stick out? Yes, uh, we've had Sikorsky participate with us for the last few years. MD Helicopters has been part of it as well. Uh, Rolls-Royce is gonna be with us this year along with some MRO facilities who uh, teach about rotor blade balancing and things like that. So it's gonna be a good lineup. Very good. Is this Concord Batteries opportunity to give back to the community? Absolutely. Uh, one, of the, one of the things that brought me to Concord 14 years ago was the fact that I hosted an IA renewal in South Carolina for about 20 years. Uh, or actually about 15 years at the time. And you know, I come from the Marine Corps, I was a mechanic in the Marine Corps, and the unsung heroes of our industry are the maintenance technicians because if they don't do their job right every time, none of us have a job. And so it's always been sort of in my heart to, to look after maintenance technicians and make sure that they've got training, they're well fed when they're there, and it's free to attend. I've hosted IA renewals for almost a quarter century handed out almost 9,000 certificates, and we've never charged an IA to come and, and receive that training. Thanks, Chris, for joining us today. Pleasure being here. Back to you, Jim. Thanks, gentlemen. For more information about Concord Battery's IA Renewal Series, go to concordbattery.com and click on the Training tab. And if you are an HAI member who provides maintenance and repair services, be sure to check out HAI's maintenance SMF software and coaching programs by following the link on your screen. That wraps up this month's edition of VFR. Please email me with your comments or suggestions on how HAI can provide you with better service. Until next time, fly safe, stay safe, and keep those rotors turning.